Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I hope you're having a good week so far. If you haven't seen our latest video, go check it out after watching this one. It's called Monday Chat and it included a game, a special guest, and we talked about what we can do in this time of lockdown to keep our bodies and our minds healthy. A big shout out goes to the Newton family and the Jones family for getting full points in the last game. Thumbs up to you guys, well done. And with no further ado, let's get on with today's video. Today is Thursday, which means it's time for me to share the next game idea with you guys. Remember that in the last video I mentioned we will be needing these? The insides of your toilet paper rolls. But I think we might need more than one. So I've been collecting quite a few. You might be wondering what we're going to do with them. Well, let me tell you. We will be creating our very own lockdown bowling alley. I have to confess, I couldn't remember how many bowling pins I used in a bowling alley. But don't worry, I asked my trusted friend, Google, to find the answer. So according to Google, a normal bowling alley has 10 pins. Please don't worry at all if you don't have 10 of these ready to be decorated. As I said, you can use as many or as little as you want. So let me show you what else you will need to get this game set up and ready. We need some toilet rolls, however many you have available. I used these pens to decorate them with. And then I used these sticky labels to create the scores on each of the toilet rolls. And I stuck them on with some sticky labels. And you will also need a ball. I forgot to say, you might need some glue as well. Hang on, I'll be back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, maybe not this much. Let's put this one back. Now, I'm sure you don't want to watch me decorate 10 of these. So let's fast forward to when I'm actually done. As you can see, I used different points on my pins. You can pick whatever points you like. I had as little as 10 points and 50, going all the way to 100. So whichever ones you want is totally fine. So now that we're ready and all the pins are decorated, we can start the game. Let's go. Okay, everyone, I'm in my hallway right now and I have just set up the game, so take a look. There are loads of different ways of how to set up the pins. These are just a few examples. You can keep them close together or spread them apart a bit more. Or you could even set them up really far apart and see how long it takes you to hit all of them. So let's play. There you have it, lockdown bowling works perfectly and is loads of fun. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Give this video a like if you enjoyed today's game idea and comment down below what your highest score was. I hope you have a good weekend and we will see you back on Monday with our next Monday chat video. Bye!